What is up guys, Dane again. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up an automation where anyone who comes in from a Facebook lead generation advertisement gets pulled into your ConvertKit account and you actually have your ConvertKit account do the follow-up for you. So once again, if you just wanna to get to the meat of this uh, and just see what I do on my computer, I have a timestamp down below. So I will see you then. If you wanna stay here for the lecture to kind of explain like on a much bigger scale what we're doing, um, just don't click down there and just stay there. Because as you guys probably know, when it comes to generating leads on Facebook, you really have two main ways. You have a conversion ad with a lead objective, and then you also have what's called Facebook lead generation. I think I did another video kind of explaining the two, but the five second pitch is, you know, a conversion ad that is a lead objective is pretty much sending people off of Facebook, sending them to a landing page, a website to opt in. A Facebook lead generation ad actually keeps them on Facebook. It kind of like opens up a little window, fills it out for them. They just have to press submit. Now, what's great about the Facebook lead gen ads is you can get a lot of leads because people, it, it really lowers down the barrier of opening up a new window. It just kind of opens up on Facebook, it auto populates, you click the blue button, that's it, you're done. But here's usually what happens. All those leads stay on Facebook. You have to actually download them unless you set up an automation that pulls them into say a Google Sheet or your CRM. Now, one thing I like to do is I like to take that a little bit further because here's the thing, to pull those leads automatically out of Facebook, you have to use a Zapier integration, which is super easy and I'll be showing you that in the uh, video as well. However, what I like to do, since you know it's really easy to just not know when these people are opting in because you get no notifications, is I like to actually send these leads to ConvertKit and have ConvertKit email them. So as soon as they opt in, they get sent to ConvertKit and you start following up with them automatically. So say, say for example, you, I did this with a real estate client. What I would do is I would have a lead, Facebook lead ad for a piece of property and say, if you're interested, please follow out this form. I would then have Zapier one, notify the realtor, so that works really well, but also two, I had to go to a ConvertKit account because realtors are busy and they're also terrible at follow-up, but that's a different conversation. I would have ConvertKit actually email the client right off the bat saying, hey there, thank you for opting in. We're gonna be reaching out for you. Unless you'd like to schedule a call, then here's my information. What this automation allows you to do is it allows ConvertKit to do a quick first touch base so it's not like these leads opted in and that's it. And honestly, from there, you can just kind of do whatever you want with ConvertKit when it comes to say, opting in for this, opting in for that, having them go through an email funnel. So with that being said, let's jump to my computer. Let me show you how to put this whole thing together. All right, guys, here we are at my computer. So as you can tell with these tabs I have open here, uh, this is pretty much what you need. I just like to have Google Calendar open because you never know when you get appointments. So here's the thing, in an older video I did, I showed how to set up a Facebook uh, lead form. for, And uh, for that video, if you wanna check out how to do that, just uh, click up here. I'll make sure to add in uh, where to check out that video. But here we are in the back end of one of my Facebook pages. So as you can tell, this form has a lead. And here's the thing that kind of sucks about Facebook forms is that it's really easy to uh, you know get leads but if you do not download them within like say a couple of days they actually expire uh, that kind of sucks especially if you're kind of a one-man person or you have a small team and you know you have a hard time making a point to reach out and touch these leads another big thing is you know say if you get a lead and you want to email them or call them it sometimes gets a bit annoying that you have to keep on downloading and downloading. Wouldn't it be nice just to be able to send off, you know, a confirmation email or even a text message? For this example, we're just gonna stay with uh, email, but once you see how it's built, you should be able to modify it for your own purposes. So we have one lead in here, and what we want to do is we want to take this lead from our form, which is super simple that I just threw together. Oh, I can't even show you this right now because I already uh, submitted it. Um, we just want to make sure we can follow up with them as soon as we can. So a couple things we need to do. Let's head to ConvertKit. Now this is just a normal subscriber profile. Uh, this is my email address. What I did is unlike ConvertKit which just gives you email and first name, I added in this uh, field called phone number because on that form I am asking for a phone number. So say if you're in real estate, if you're trying to get, uh, you know, be able to contact people and you want more than an email address, you want to make sure you add in this phone number form so we can go ahead and take the phone number from there and put it here. Real quick, how to do that? And you form, you just simply put the name and the value. That's it. Real, real simple. Because over here, 
we actually need to create a new uh, form. Um, this is what I have right here. It's just first name, email address, and phone number. If you create a new form in ConvertKit, it only has these first two, so you ha do have to click here to add in a new field, custom field, um, and as you can tell, it'll be phone number. Now, of course, I don't need two of these, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this. Okay, great, so we have ConvertKit set up so we can add in people's you know, names, email addresses, and phone numbers. Now, how do we get over there? Well, that's where Zapier comes in. I wanted to bring something up. Another thing to make sure is when you create a form, just to go here into these little gears, actually, excuse me, uh, right here, make sure this is unchecked. If you leave this checked, ConvertKit will actually email them, asking them to confirm their subscription. Almost nobody does, which means you're gonna have a bunch of people that aren't gonna be confirmed. So let me run you through this real quick, and I'll see if I can try and make this shareable as well. First, you do need a Zapier Premium account. I think it's only $20 a month. I recommend it just because a free Zapier account, uh, they really limit you with how many things you can do, and plus, this is so easy. And honestly, if you rely on leads from Facebook to make sales, this pays for itself immediately. So, of course, first, you want to do app or event, Facebook leads, new lead. I believe that's the only option you get. You need to make sure you choose uh, your uh, uh, Facebook account, and then you have to choose which page, and from here, you can choose which form. I only have one form, which is example form, but say if you have different forms for different products or offers, this would be a good time to check that out. And then, of course, we're going to see find data. Now, what do we have here? We have the example I just added in um, from the form. We're going to be looking for this email address. So, great, we got the data. Now what? What we do is you now move on to ConvertKit. So, I'm going to run you through this real quick. ConvertKit, add subscriber to a form. Very important right there. If you try and, do, try and uh, add them to, like, add a tag to them, it doesn't exactly work. People have to actually be put into ConvertKit via form first before they can get tagged. And then, of course, make sure you have your ConvertKit account. And from here, we have a couple of things. We want to add them to a form, Facebook Leads, which is the one we saw right up here. And from here, you just start to click on this button and add in the information from step one, which is Facebook leads, into here. So you have, you know, the email address, which is required. First name. Uh, if you guys want, you actually can modify this and convert kit and make it full name. I just like to do first name. And then, of course, down here, phone number. And then what we're going to do is press continue. So now we are going to go ahead and do a test. Okay, great. Test is done and turn on your zap. There we go. Now this is just getting people from Facebook to convert kit, but what about messaging them? Well, that's what we're gonna jump into next. Now real quick, as you can see right here, uh, that email address is already in, so luckily for us, we have our opt-in into our confirmed subscribers. And take a look, we have the first and last name, phone number, email address, and also this tag. So, so far I haven't showed you guys the automation behind this when it comes to contacting people and also tagging them. Let's jump in there. Now, over here in automations, I created this little system right here called Facebook Leads Follow-Up. Uh, this is gonna be shareable down below, so absolutely just grab it and use it for your own ConvertKit account. And take a look in here. As we can see, we have one subscriber, which is who, which, is, which was me, because we just added them to the form, they got that tag, and also, first touch on email. So say if you're even an independent contractor or you're a 1099 salesperson and you wanna make sure you follow up with your leads as soon as you get them, this is fantastic. I mean, look right here, it's all ready to go. So in this email, a couple things to point out, um, and this is one thing I've noticed just with ConvertKit. A um, couple things, make sure email's active and send is immediately. Um, sometimes those are common things to actually miss. Uh, but here's the cool thing. So when a person comes in, they'll already get their first name right there. Thank you for your interesting company, XYZ. Someone's going to reach out to you if you have, never said I was a typer at all, or a speller. Touch base, if you need a book now, please click here. And that you can actually make a link to, a link to, you say, your call scheduler. And actually what's cool from there, say if you use uh, Zapier and your call scheduler, Schedule you can and have it add uh, you know say tags when a person books a call you can then start to do um, you know logic which 
I'll start to get into in another video. But yeah, guys, as you can tell, this is a very quick way to start getting people from your Facebook uh, lead ads into ConvertKit and actually start to follow up with them as soon as you can. And check it out. You know that email we were just looking at over in the automation? Here it is. Daynet Rockstar Integrator. Attention. Your inquiry has been received. Dane Test. Thank you. As you can tell, this is a real easy way to follow up with people. So you can actually have, say, a link to your calendar right here. You can have free resources. You can have a lot of stuff because here's the fact of the matter. You are now in the inbox. Again, this little automation I was showing right here, I am going to have shared uh, down below. So you just have a quick little link. So you can just add this right to your ConvertKit account. Uh, when it comes to the Zapier Zap, I'm going to see if I can actually make this shareable as well, just so you can start putting this all together and start plugging and playing. All right, guys, as you can tell, it's a lot simpler than it looks, or maybe not. I also want to put this out here. If you like this automation, but you're having some trouble building it yourself, the ConvertKit part I actually made shareable, so you can just drop it into your own ConvertKit account. So to do that, just simply click on the link below, and it'll all take care of you. And if you found this video super helpful, i really appreciate it if you would go ahead and give a subscribe. I know some people kind of like my just straight to the point videos, and so if you're one of those people, well, I'm going to keep on making them. So with that being said, I look forward to your subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.